5 seconds honorable speaker sir i am happy to present the karnataka budget for the fifth time i expect that the programs in the previous year budget will take the state on the path of the progress meeting the aspirations of the people of karnataka progress is the basis of prosperity this chanakyas mantra emphasizes the importance of achieving economic development on my strong belief that development is the touchstone of administration i have formulated several programs in the last four budgets for the state's progress i have taken the oath in the name of our state's farmers our government has raised rashtra kavi kuvempu's song on farmers to the level of a state song we have been giving due priority to farmers progress in every budget to ensure that the declaration of equal share and equal opportunity to all does not remain only a slogan we have given special attention to the development of weaker sections backward classes minorities and women so that a prosperous social system can be built on the foundations of social justice emphasis has also been given to develop education science and technology for making the future of our people bright in the coming decades our endeavor has been for all round development of all sections of society and all parts of the state in the first 6 months of the previous year serious crop losses were caused to the farmers in several parts of the state due to drought in the kharif season the government had to spend an amount of rupees 200 crores for emergency relief measures in the drought affected talukas of the state these scarcity conditions were immediately followed by unprecedented heavy rains towards the end of september and in the first week of october in 15 districts of our state causing damages to about 4000 villages the life of people who suffered under natural calamities like scarcity and flood situation is pathetic these words of basavanna reflect the pain and misery in the life of people affected by natural calamities in such a severely adverse conditions the state government's administration with the help of central government's defense and disaster management forces brought flood affected people and animals to safety and also provided temporary shelter hundreds of feeding centers were started for giving timely food to flood affected people precautionary measures were taken to protect people from the outbreak of epidemics in flood affected areas those who had lost shelter from rains and floods were given immediate cash assistance to rebuild their lives in managing such an unprecedented natural calamity not only various institutions of the central government provided assistance but the honorable prime minister himself and other central ministers also visited the state to see the flood havoc and sympathized with the state government after assessing the report of the central study team visiting the flood affected areas the central government has provided 1500 crores from the national calamity contingency fund for providing relief to the flood affected people while the state government has so far released rupees 1800 crores to various affected dis- districts i wish to express our heartfelt gratitude on behalf of the people and the government of karnataka to the central government for providing timely assistance in managing the unprecedented crisis faced by the state a memorandum has already been submitted to the central government seeking special assistance for permanent rehabilitation of flood affected villages and we hope that the center will consider this request favorably at the time of presenting the budget in the previous year our country's economy had also been affected by global financial crisis 
in Karnataka's industrial and services sector, especially in information technology, there was widespread fear of economic slowdown as a result starting from October 2008 to the first six months of 2009. There was no growth in the collection of taxes in the state. In the latter half of that year, a significant revival of the state's economy has been observed and the state government has continued its efforts to achieve the expectations of the budget to a great extent. In the light of selected indicators, the financial position of Karnataka is more sound compared to other states. The state's own tax revenue is more than 10% of the gross state domestic product, which is the highest in the entire country. In this respect, the average of all other states is below 6% as reflected in the statistics provided by the Reserve Bank of India. In the background of five principles of economic policy, the economic policy must give top priority to increasing agricultural productivity. At the same time, we have to make sincere efforts in the coming years to see that a major part of our population gets employed in the high productivity sectors of industries and services. In order to enhance the productivity in the agriculture sector, it is required to give importance to expand irrigation, disseminate information about appropriate technology, invest greater capital and improve marketing facilities. Dear Sir, this is in continuation of your kind letter and the telephone conversation had with your purchasing officer on 26th instant regarding bulk supply of furniture to your esteemed factory which is under final construction and to be inaugurated on November 10th. While expressing my thanks for having called on us, I would like to know the exact type of furniture you prefer and the measurement of the furniture also. Let me know whether you need teak finished plywood furniture or steel furniture. For your easy understanding of purchase of furniture materials, I am sending the catalog latest designs price list through our sales manager stationed at Bangalore who in turn will explain you in detail. Further, I would like to inform you that we also manufacture sofa sets, cushion chairs, revolving chairs, cane items, almiras, wooden round tables as well as steel tables, conference tables, public meeting requirements and also the steel furniture which is most useful for canteen purpose. Since we manufacture the said items at our own factory, we can quote the reasonable price and also we are in a position to allow maximum discount as well as credit facility. We have well established showrooms at Mangalore, Madikeri in Karnataka, excluding Bangalore showroom, Karnal, Pune, Chennai, Delhi cities and our factories are located mainly in Dandeli and Darwad with branches in different parts of Karnataka. We learnt that your international tech park is located at Bangalore, branched at Darwad and Karwar. You make it convenient to visit our showrooms which will enable you to place order. We assure you that finished products are of topmost quality and we stand number one in manufacturing and supplying furniture. In the meantime, we also undertake subcontract of electrical works. We have appointed reputed engineers, technicians, supervisors to do electrical works on time bound period. However, I am sending here with the list of factories, software companies for which we have done electrification works at lowest tender bid. The materials used are as per Indian standard and the quality of works have been certified by Karnataka Regulatory Commission. We extend 
our sincere services at all times. Yours faithfully, Kavika Furniture House.